Dad, hold up, will ya? Dad. I, uh, I need a favour. We're going to spit it out. I need some cash, quick. You want to look like cash, by the way. Do you need money, boy? Well, I took out a loan. A loan? For what? For the arches. Look, you've taken every dodgy deal we've ever had elsewhere. I mean, it's not going to come as a surprise that a legit garage can't make a lot of money. Well, I thought you'd want to run it clean since you crossed over the thin blue line. I took the loan off Patsy Sully. Were you lending money on him for? Well, because we weren't exactly on speaking terms at the time, were we? Now, he wants the money back today with interest on top, and you know what he will do if you don't get it. How much do you need? A lot. Listen, I can't lay my hands on that sort of cash. Not, not today, I've got, I've got a flight to catch. What flight? Well, Lisa, she's, uh, she had a car crash, broken her leg, and Lou's gone in the way. Look, Dad, I could lose my kneecaps today if I don't get this cash, all right? Please, this ain't my fault. You made your choice, haven't you? That place is yours, isn't it? You're a big boy. You work it out. I, I'm just saying, if work of any spare bulletproof best, bring one home for yourself. Nanny, can we just not, please? Sorry. But. I'm afraid I tend to lose my appetite when I witness a gun fingering. Personally, I think it's a mother's job to teach their kids about being responsible with money. Isn't that right, Catherine? Uh, number one, it's Cathy. And number two, what are you talking about? No, no. Please. That son of yours, he's got loan sharks chasing him up. Loan sharks? What are you on about? There, see? At least he's being secretive with his mother too, eh? Nan, come on, we're going. 